Hi everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I'm Kishore and I'm here to solve a variant Sudoku created by SSG. I saw this Sudoku on the Discord server and uh, this Sudoku was posted on the Logic Masters Germany portal and I gave this Sudoku a try some time back and this has a really, really excellent solve path. Uh, just so amazing and fun to solve. I thought of making a video on the Sudoku and I hope this video is enjoyable. The link to solve this is in the description of the video and we uh, thank the author for allowing us to make a video on the Sudoku. Thank you SSG for giving us the permission to make a video on the Sudoku. Uh, this Sudoku is called Arches on the Quad and uh, it has a combination of arrow and quadruple loop rules. Uh, we'll get into the rules in detail. Each row, each column and 3x3 three three box in the grid has digits 1 to 9. Uh, standard classic rules apply and apart from that you have arrow rules. The digit in the circle uh, is the sum of the digits along the arrow stem. So for example you could have 2, 3 here then this would be 5, 2 plus 3. And then you have quadruple rule applying. Digits given in a circle must appear at least once in the surrounding four cells. So if you take this box, for example, you have two, three, four, six here. So it must contain two, three, four and six in them. However, if you take this box, for example, there is a nine given uh, common to all those four cells. And which means that at least one of those cells must take a nine. So these are the rules. Uh, and with that, we'll start this Sudoku. And before that, uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, and but you're a long-term viewer of the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We'll really appreciate. We are looking to grow. And uh, uh, we've been posting videos more than two years now. And so the least you can do for us, if you're enjoying what we do, is uh, show us your support by subscribing to the channel. And if you really enjoy what we do, then consider supporting us on Patreon as well. Uh, we are posting some rewards and uh, the reward for this month september will be posted in a day or two uh, so please consider supporting us on patreon too so let me start the sudoku now uh, let's just fix these digits in here uh, these are all fixed here because of the four given clues around them so this is the first thing that you can do easily in this sudoku the next thing you can see here is uh, you have two and three in these four cells and you also have a two and three in these four cells which means that you have got two instances of two and two instances of three and in this row and in this row you can have no more two or three so which means that for row one the two and three must go in these cells or to put it simply these three cells cannot take two, three, and these three cells cannot take two and three. So for box, for row one, these must be two, three. And I'm going to use the same idea across all these cells, same idea. So if I, for example, look at this uh, three cells, this must contain three and four in them, because you have three, four here, and three, four here. So three, four in column nine, has to be in these cells and similarly these three cells will take uh, 1 and 2 you have 1 2 here and 1 2 here and these three cells along row 9 must take 1 and 4 you have 1 4 here and 1 4 here so this is the first step that you can do in this sudoku without much effort and uh, the next thing i think uh, where the solver's eyes would be directed is obviously this arrow. Now you can notice clearly that the minimum sum of this arrow is at least 3 plus 4, right? Because you have a 1 and 2 here. So the minimum sum becomes 3, 4, and which means the minimum value here must be a 7, 8, or a 9. And uh, uh, if you write the possibilities here, it can only be 3, 4, 5, and 6. You can't have a 7 because 7 plus 3 would be 10 and the arrow would be violated. Alright, so let's see now. 
Okay, so I have seen this idea, the idea which I'm going to show now in uh, classic Sudokus and so I got this instantly when I was solving. If you look at these corner cells, they are really important to us. The reason is, notice that all these four boxes which I've drawn do not have a 7, 8 or a 9. And if you put any of those digits here, for example, let's say I put the digit here in this red cell. Let me put a 7, doesn't matter. So the 7 in box 7 goes in this domino, the 7 in box 9 goes in this domino, and the 7 in uh, box 3 goes in this domino, and that leads to a clash. So which means that uh, it works the same way if you put an 8 here or a 9 here, doesn't matter. So the same way this works for this cell as well, this cell as well, and this cell as well. So none of the red cells, you'll see that, can take a 7, 8, or a 9. So I have seen this idea previously in uh, classic Sudoku, and that's why I hit upon this. Uh, but it's nice to see uh, in this Sudoku. It's such a beautiful Sudoku. So let me remove the colors now. And now it's clear to me that this has to be 4 or 6. Uh, you can't take 1, 2, 3, 5. And 7, 8, 9 are eliminated. So this will be uh, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 5. This will be 2, 6. And this will be 3 or a 5. Okay. So we got until here. Uh, now. Okay. So here I took a big pause. So the thing to see here now is focus our attention on these cells. Let me color them yellow. So you'll notice that they cannot take a 7, 8 or a 9. Precisely because of the same reason that we saw here. If any of the yellow cells take a 7, 8 or a 9, look what happens. Let me put for example, uh, put a 7 here in row 9 column 5 so 7 goes in one of these two cells 7 goes in one of these two cells and that forces a 7 in box 3 here and box 1 here so you have a clash right so the same works if you put an 8 for example here or even a 9 the same it works the same way and the same thing is applicable for all the yellow cells so none of the yellow cells can take a 7, 8 or a 9 and that is because of the givens uh, which are in this box, in this quadruple. An excellent, excellent reduction, not so easy to see. And now, if you look at column 5 and ask yourself where the 9 goes, you can't have 9 in yellow cells, you can't have 9 as part of the arrow stem. So 9 in column 5 is in this cell. Uh, in these three cells. So which means for this quadruple, the 9 is forced into these two cells. You can't have 9 here. And 9 cannot be on arrow stem, so we get our first digit here. So 9 goes here. So that's not a 9. And if you look at box 4 now, yellow cells can, can't take a 9. This is not a 9 by the rule of Sudoku. So 9 is forced into this domino. And that forces a 9 here. Excellent. So, okay, you have 7 or 8 here. The moment you have a 7 or 8 here, a 3 is forced into this cell. Because if you don't have a 3, the minimum sum becomes 4 plus 5, which is 9 and which is no longer possible. So 3 is in these two cells, so that's not a 3. Very nice. So let's continue here. Okay. Right. So look at this uh, quadruple here. It contains an 8, right? So 8 has to be in one of these two cells. Remember that yellow cells can't take a 7, 8 or a 9, which we have already deduced. None of these cells can take a 7, 8 or a 9. So 8 goes in one of these two cells.
okay so it's time to focus on the eights now look at row five and just think where the eight goes eight can't be in yellow cells eight cannot be in this arrow the reason is nine is already eliminated so eight cannot be going here so eight has to be in one of these two cells and now if you look at this quad eight has to be in one of these two cells so eight goes here and that eliminates this eight giving us an eight here and that is excellent for us because this becomes a seven now and this is supposed to be a three plus four and four is also eliminated from this cell which gives us a three four pair which is really cool that becomes a three four pair okay can the eight go in this cell that would instantly force an eight and a one here but one is already in these three cells because of the ones being here we already have two ones in those two rows so eight cannot be here so that becomes eight now and that forces eight in box five which means eight goes here eight can't be in yellow cells and that means this arrow is forced to be a nine the moment you have an eight the arrow is forced to be a nine which means this becomes a one eight pair excellent guys look how the sudoku is progressing simply tremendous one cannot be in column five one is eliminated here right let me think here now okay eight in row eight you can use sudoku and simply force the eight here and now if you look along this column eight goes in this domino and that rules out eight from these three cells and puts an eight here and now we get eight in column five into these two cells so can we do more with eights i don't think so uh so we have three four pair here look what it does to the four here four is not here four is not here so four is forced here so that becomes four because you have a four clue in those four cells so this is four and that forces this to be a six and eight is forced here because eight was in this domino so eight goes here and that resolves this this is eight that is one which means this is not a one two three five so one goes here and now uh, if you look at box one this has to be a seven nine pair and you have a seven here so that's a seven and that's a nine okay look at this four that eliminates four from here so the four is forced here and now uh, by the rule of sudoku in row one four can't be in these three cells so four goes in those three cells and we have a triplet here that becomes two three four and that becomes a one five eight just look at row one and now this becomes a seven nine pair and that can be resolved so that's a seven that's a nine and looking down these two digits look at these three cells so this becomes a seven nine and these two cells look at these three cells so this becomes a seven nine all right so looking at nines nine is eliminated here that's not a nine so nine gets forced into this cell and which in turn forces an eight in column two uh, eight eight so eight goes in these two cells so uh, this is a two or six for box nine and this would be a one or a five ah that's nice so where does the three go in column one you can't have three in these yellow cells because of this three four pair and three can't be here so three goes here 
and now that leaves us a naked single five and five is eliminated here so five goes in this domino and these three cells now become one two five and that forces six in here the only digit left out in that box so i really enjoy the flow to the sudoku guys amazing and tremendous stunning sudoku really such a joy to solve so six goes in this domino hmm let me think here okay nine in column four is forced into these two cells you can't have nine here because of this or the fact that seven eight nine cannot be in the yellow cells which we deduced right at the start okay look at this squad there is a seven in that so these three cells don't take a seven so seven goes here and that puts a seven in this domino by sudoku and which means uh, this is forced to be an eight you have a seven in the arrow stem so that forces this to be eight given that nine is not possible so which means this has to be one plus seven that gives a five here that gives a one here and that becomes a five eight pair okay let's finish up box six two one six are the remaining digits and that can be resolved so that's a two that's a six and which means this has to be a three this has to be a four these become a two six pair and look at this quad you have three four staring down at them so this becomes a one five pair this becomes a three four pair and this domino seven nine can be resolved you have a nine here that's a seven that's a nine and this pair can be resolved that's a seven that's a one all right so eight here resolves this so that is a five that is an eight excellent guys beautiful solve really uh, no wonder it's rated very highly on the portal more than 90 percent on logic masters germany so it must have thrilled the solvers just like it did me so this can't be one or five you have one five here so that's two that must be one five and six to complete the row and now look at this quad you can't have six in these two cells or so six goes here and that resolves this pair six two and now we can finish off row three this must be one five and that must be a two three all right let me think here you have a five so this gets resolved that's a five that's a one and one gets removed from these cells excellent so okay row two can be completed five seven or the left out digits and seven can't be in column four so that's a five that's a seven okay so i'm seeing only this arrow that is left out now if you look at row seven column four this cell it cannot be five six seven or eight it cannot be a one or a two obviously because the minimum sum in a two cell arrow must be three so it is three four or nine but the moment you have three or four you must have a one in these two cells but one is in these three cells right one can never be in these two cells so three and four get ruled out which means that has to be a nine that results is that's a nine that's a seven now let's look at this cell uh, this arrow maybe that will resolve it cannot be one eight it cannot be four five so it is two plus seven or three plus six only possibility but it's instantly two plus seven so it's easy to see because seven is not here seven is not here seven is not here so seven is forced here so it becomes a two seven and which is instantly resolved two one seven that two gives a six here a two here and row nine can be completed 
two seven nine three four eight uh three five eight which must which means it must be one four six and this must be three five and five here gives a five and a three that five resolves this five one three so three four and this row gets completed must be two and six six goes here two goes here that must be a one four so one goes here four goes here that's a four that's a three that's a three that's a two and six six so this will be a six and this becomes a one four pair okay three is not here this will be one two or four for the column two is not here okay what am i missing here ah this quad it it must take a three and there is only one cell left for the three it's four that's not four that's one and two and now if you look at row six these two cells are one four and five five is ruled out here one is ruled out here and one four pair in column six so the remaining digits are two and three So this will be three or five for this column. So uh, let me see what I'm missing here. Some very small clue. Ah, this two. There is no two in these three cells. So two gets forced here and that really causes the Sudoku to fall apart. Five, four, one, two, four, three, one four and five and one and with that we have completed this uh words fall short of this gorgeous creation a really really enjoyable sudoku uh archers on the quad by ssd excellent sudoku please do uh try it out and give a rating on logic masters germany portal please share this sudoku highly it's an excellent sudoku thanks for watching we hope to see you soon Bye bye